Good morning, Facebook. We're out at the Goliad Glamp House. I want to show you guys what's what's been done so far. As you can see, we've got house wrap up, sheathing. But let's take a look. So as you can see, we use all Dupont Tyvek house wrap here. Uh, this front porch is going to have a, a cedar pergola coming off of it. That's kind of why there's not a big overhang. Which I'll show you some of the, the beams we're going to use for that. But uh, this over here this is speaking into our bunk room. So every every bunk is going to have its own little custom window. It'll be a pretty neat detail. Get nice large windows all on the front of the house. And this is looking into the master bedroom. Got a nice, I believe that's a five by four window there. Um, you can see here's one of the cedar posts. We're using solid eight by eight solid uh, cedar posts for the the front and the back. And this is look, looking into the master bedroom and the master bath. Let me show you the back patio we've got. So this is a 48 by 12 foot patio. Again, all with the solid eight by eight cedar columns. And a real neat detail, which you know, very common you see on, on your columns if you got you've got galvanized straps that come up on on either side, which you know are not the prettiest thing to look at. So what you're seeing here is a concealed uh, concealed uh, post base. So you've got a a metal post base here. What you do is you slice the side of your post, and it actually the post will uh, slip onto it. And then you've got three pins that you drive into the side to anchor it down. So let's take a look at the back patio here. This is going to be where the outdoor shower goes. And, uh, you know, on this shower, we, we, you know, instead of having a drain, uh, we took the drain out just to keep any critters and snakes from crawling up into your house. But we put a little slope here that will go off into the yard. So later on, you'll see a, a shower head here in an enclosed area. But again, we've got windows. We've got a big eight-foot tall sliding glass door that's going to go here. And this window is probably the best one in the house. This is, is going to be your view coming out of your kitchen. So this window here will look out all out in this pasture here. So again, a little bit more of the, the patio. Let's take a look inside. So this is where the kitchen is going to be. And again, you'll be looking out of this window. Cooking some food, serve it outside. And that's the view you've got here. Um, I wanted to show off a couple of the the advanced framing from the inside, as well as some uh, some different building practices. So corners, your inside corners on your house on a standard home. Let me show you these here. This corner here is usually stacked with two by fours and or two by sixes. So this wall, there's no way to put any insulation in here. So the California corner, as you can see, now the spray foam guy can come in here and spray this whole cavity of this, this entire wall. Another thing we did is our headers, let me see if you can see with the lighting. Our headers, we've got two two by six plates and then we've got two inch foam. You know, your, your headers usually don't have any insulation in them. So that's just a big block in your wall that has, has no insulation value. But now we're able to put two inches of foam there to, to help that out. Uh, let me show you the ladder framing now that we've got the sheathing up. Here's a good example over here. So usually whenever your interior wall meets your exterior wall, this right here again is stacked full of two, two by fours or two by sixes. And there's no way to insulate this block. So by doing the ladder framing every 24 inches on center, Again, the spray foam guy can get back here and insulate that entire wall cavity. So let's take a look at the at the at the great room. So we did vaulted ceilings in this room, and then both of the uh, the bedrooms have ten foot ceilings. And this is that bunk room. So in here we're going to have two queens on the bottom, and then a little staircase in between, going up to two twins. So I think this will be a neat room. Uh, another detail you see here is 
you know, this bottom two feet looks a lot different than the rest. So your bottom, we've actually done pressure treated plywood. And what's great about pressure treated plywood is this, you know, this has a stronger barrier against insects, against water damage. Um, so this will last a whole lot longer than your standard OSB sheeting. Now the reason why we did the bottom two feet is this, this is where most of your house gets damaged from rain, insects, this is where the biggest portion, 50, 60 years down the road, when you, when you tear open a wall, you see rot and decay in this area. You know, it'd be great to do the entire house, but this costs about three times as much as your OSB sheeting. Uh, so that's why we did the bottom two, two feet on this house. So let's see what else. Uh, so this is going to be the fireplace. We've got a little bench seating that's going to go on around both sides. And then we've got the master bedroom here. Again, you've got great views out of the country. And then we're going to put a pocket door on this wall to save space. And when you walk in, this will be a nice large walk-in shower here. And we'll put a bench seat on, there on the back. You got a nice little window you can peek out of. So, well, that's bas basically it, guys. Um, next week we've got rough ends for plumbing, electrical coming in. So, uh, you know, there's a couple of different products I want to show you on that. So we'll tune in next week and show you guys what, what we've done. Um, but again, I'm Matt with with Pearl Homes. Thanks for watching. Bye.